Welcome back to Prepper Junkie. Today we have a PSAK 74 classic polymer rifle. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. Okay, it comes in the kind of the box standard Palmetto State Armory box. Comes with a user manual and a gun lock. Comes with one 30 round magazine. And as you can probably see if you're getting on camera, maybe it's marked 545 by 39. It is, it is done by Magpul. This is a P Mag. Let's take the rifle out. All right, let's take a closer look at it. So we're going to do a little tour of the AK-74. We're going to start at the rear and make our way forward. Uh, so let's move this down a little bit and let's zoom in. All right, that's better. Okay, so this is an AKM uh, buttstock. It does have a rifle. Uh, sling attachment right here at the back. On the very back, uh, this ridged uh, this ridged part is actually a metal. It's like a metal aluminum plate, and you can probably see this little flap here. Uh, this is storage, so if you have a cleaning kit or something you want to stick in there, not that, but anything else, uh, put that. You can put that in there. So it's nice to have a little storage area. Uh, then moving forward, we do have another AKM part. This is an AKM uh, pistol grip. It does have some nice texturing on there for grip. Again, you can switch any of these parts out um, that you wish. Any kind of standard AK parts should technically fit. Um, and then, you know, looking at all the, the rivets, everything looks really nice. Uh, you know, PSA has really got their, uh, their stuff together when it comes to uh, making these AK rifles. They've been doing it for a little while now and they're really cranking out some quality products. Okay, so uh, this is the safety, and it is nice. It does have an extended flap that comes out, uh, so it's ease of putting safety on and off. So that's a really nice feature, and it has got some texturing up here for grip also. So if your hands are wet or if this gets a little wet, uh, you shouldn't have any issues there. Uh, so that works very, very well. Let's take a closer look at the, the trigger on this. Let's take the safety off. We are unloaded. This is just for demonstrations. Um, okay, so let's... Pull this trigger here. It's a little gritty. It's got a decent amount of take up. And it's got a very audible and tactile break, as you heard. It is a, a single stage, single action. It's got quite a, a decent let out there. The, the reset is very noticeable and tactile. An audible, which is really, really nice. Um, it's not the greatest trigger in the, the world, um, you know. As I said, you know, but there's there's upgrades. If again, if, if the ALG triggers fit in here, I've used ALG triggers on uh, a couple of AKs I've had from PSA, and they are super nice, and uh, they're pretty easy to install, and they're not very expensive. Um, so, but the triggers, it's not bad. As I say, it's it, Definitely could do some work. It's got quite a bit of take up. It's not it's not super smooth. Uh, the resets very. I like the reset, even though it's a little longer than I would like. But it's very positive um, reset, so I do like that. And then obviously this uh, button back here is to take the cover off, which we'll we'll go over this in just a little bit. But this this is what you depress in to take this top cover off. It's not hinged or anything like that. It does slip off. We'll, again, we'll show you that in just a little bit. Uh, moving forward to the charging handle and the bolt is a hammer forged bolt excellent quality along with the trunnion also is also hammer forged uh, again so you're not gonna have to worry about that uh, so we do have a paddle release so obviously now the mag looks a little a little more similar to like an uh, an AR mag than it does an AK mag it doesn't have that extreme curve on it um, but you still do have the paddle mag release right here Slips in and out very nice. 
what we do have a, a classic AKM handguard here. Um, and then up top we have the, again, the standard kind of AK uh, iron sights here that you can adjust for distance, for longer distance shooting. We have the catch here for the, uh, the gas block to remove the gas block. Again, we'll come to that in just a little bit. Uh, moving forward, you'll notice it has these <clears throat> two parts at the bottom here. Uh, this is so you can slide in a uh, cleaning rod if you wish to put one in. It does not come with one, but you can add one if you wish. And then we have a kind of the bog standard AK front sight on here. As you can see. On the front here, we have a traditional AK style brake. Features I love about AKs, and I've mentioned this in previous videos, is just how easy it is to remove these and switch these parts out. You can probably see here, there's this little uh, spring detent. You just push that in all the way, and then you can unscrew it. It's gonna click back in as I turn this. But, uh, so it's super easy to take this off, and then you can put any muzzle device on there uh, that you want. And then again, it's just a simple push that in to get that back on. Very cool. I really do like that feature about AKs. The barrel comes in at 16.3 inches. The thread is M24 by one and a half RH. I'm not super up on uh, those kind of thread pitches for AKs, but that's what it is. And it is a one and eight twist, and the barrel does have a nitride finish. Um, so it's a good barrel and on these. And so if we flip it over and take a look on the other side, uh, this part here is so you can attach a top covered uh, Pictani rail if you want. Uh, you can pick up mounts for about 100 bucks, QD mounts and things like that. They slide on and attach and it adds that. So if you want to put a red dot or something on your AK, you can uh, do that just fine. Also, I did mention you have that AK. I did mention at the start here on this uh, stock, you do have a sling attachment and your other sling attachment is right here. It's got the lip for a clip or whatever you want to put in there. All right, to disassemble, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, at this button back here that I mentioned previously, you're going to push that all the way in, grip the upper rail and just pull, and this just slides off. So this is your guide rod and spring. You're gonna push this piece forward so it slides out. There's, uh, there's grooves that it sits in at the back here. And so you push that forward to slide it out, like so. So that is out, you simply pull back on your bolt. And this is it here. And your firing pin is down in here. And that is a quick disassembly. You can see the, the trigger. To reassemble, obviously you're just going to go in reverse. Make sure your hammer is down. And you're gonna take your bolt. Now, to make sure you put this back together properly, at the back here there is, what if you can see this, there's a lip here, and there's like a, another lip groove here. You're gonna make sure that goes in it. Oh, sorry. You're gonna make sure you put your bolt in first, but you're gonna make sure that they go in at the back here. There's a little groove that they'll push into and push your bolt forward. Take your guide rod and spring, push that in, and then you're just going to push this forward until, not too far, until it slots back into the two grooves at the back here. And then you're going to put your dust cover back on. Put dust cover back on. I'm sure there's a, just like so, it goes in the groove, push it forward, and the pin locks back in place. And you're good to go. Function check, everything works great. I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is actually a 5.45 uh, by a 39. So uh, this is the round that it actually takes. Looks like a nasty little round. Um, I'm just using, and I did use this at the range, it's the Red Army Standard. This is what I was using. Um, it's not range safe, and the only reason I'm using this is because it was the only ammo I could find in stock. As you guys know, at the time of posting this video, ammo is a little difficult to come by. So, so that's that. All right. Uh, with all PSA uh, firearms, they come with a lifetime warranty. They'll fix anything that goes wrong with them. As long as that you're not abusing the crap out of it, they will fix it. Um, so, so yeah, lifetime warranty. You're going to pay about, these are costing 
around about a thousand dollars at the posting of this video um, obviously prices do change so please don't come on and, and comment later on if the price has gone up at the time of, of me purchasing this it was about a thousand dollars it, as I say, it's a great shooter, tons of fun. Um, it shot this Red Army stuff just fine. I only got to shoot about 100 rounds because, um, as I just said, you know, ammo is a little hard to come by to say the least, and it's very expensive. So I only get to shoot a certain amount. Uh, unfortunately, um, I want to shoot more, but just kind of the times we're at, in it right now. Um, so I've reviewed a lot of these PSA AKs, and they've been really good. Like I've reviewed the AKV, the GF3, the AKE, the AKP. And they've all functioned flawlessly. Um, I have have had absolutely zero issues with them. Uh, tons of fun to shoot. Um, very well made. Uh, very nice quality for these AKs. Um, with this one, I'm not a super big fan of the classic polymer. Um, I know some people are going to really dig it, and it keeps the the firearm light. I'm not such a huge fan of it. Um, I think I'll probably switch it out to something else. But again, the nice thing is you can easily switch this furniture out. That's the nice thing with these, right? You can put on whatever furniture you want. So SA does have other great options for uh, furniture. Um, they have folding stocks, they have wood uh, furniture and things like that. So um, yeah, just kind of pick your fancy and go with that. Um, these are very hard to come by in stock right now. Uh, like very, very hard. Like PSA, they tend to drop their, their in stock rifles especially AKs around about 2 p.m. mountain standard time um, between 2 and 3 and usually closer to the 2 range you've got to be and only during the week never at the weekends you've really got to be on the ball and paying attention to the website if you want to get one of these or any of their AKs at the present time they do sell it very very quickly uh, there's a link in the description if you wish to purchase one um, click that link at around about, as I say, between two and three, fingers crossed, uh, but you might have to check back several times until you actually find one of these in stock. Um, so yeah, very cool rifle, very happy with it. Uh, PSA for me has knocked it out of the park again. The guys are just killing it. Um, so yeah, congrats PSA. Um, all right. I think that's pretty much it, folks. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. Uh, it doesn't cost you guys a dime, but it really does help me out, and I greatly appreciate it. And uh, until next time, I'll catch you later.